In this video, I'll give you an overview of the PLL algorithms you'll use to permute your last layer. So currently you're solving the permutation of the last layer, or PLL, in two steps. So firstly you solve the corners, and then you'll solve the edges. You're now going to gradually learn the algorithms for every single possible PLL case so that you only ever need to do one algorithm to solve your PLL. In total, there are 21 algorithms, a few of which you will already know. If you go into the 3x3 algorithms tutorial section and click on the PLL algorithms module, you'll be able to download the PLL algorithms PDF that I have here in front of me. So this sheet shows you every single PLL case, and there are two pages on it. The first thing that you'll see with each case is an image, which shows the pieces that need to be moved around and how you recognize the case. The algorithm in bold is the suggested algorithm, and for most cases we provide also an alternative algorithm that you can try out and see if you prefer it. Underneath that we have the name of the PLL, which is just a letter. So for example, this case is the E permutation, this case is the Z permutation, this case is the H permutation, stuff like that. And then lastly we show the probability of the case occurring in a solve. The order in which the algorithms appear is the order that we suggest learning them and we've broken them up into five distinct groups. So the first group here is the edge-only PLLs, where you only need to solve the edges. The second group are the corner-only PLLs, where you only need to swap the corners. The third group are the cases where you have to swap two corners adjacent to one another and two edges. The fourth group are cases where you have to swap two corners diagonally from one another and two edges. The fifth group are the G permutations, in which you can only align a last layer to solve one corner piece and one edge piece, and so you need to do a cycle of corners and a cycle of edges at the same time. If you have a case on your cube, before you try and match it up with one of the algorithms on the PLL sheet, make sure you correctly align as many pieces as possible so it's easier to recognize. So for example here we only have two pieces correctly solved, and we can do a U2 to make it four pieces correctly solved, and we see that we have this diagonal swap and these two edges need to be swapped, and that's the case that we recognize. Finally, you should learn all the PLL algorithms before moving on and starting to learn the OLL algorithms.